Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks at TalkToProfit.com and today I want to talk to you about how your vibration, your mentality, the thoughts you're having and putting out there creates your reality. Now, I've written a book on being positive, the 7 day positivity diet about how changing your mentality will change your life and it absolutely does if you'll do it. But one individual is saying that they couldn't do it because you don't understand they live in Canada and it's so awful. Everybody there is terrible and it's like garbage being there and no one supports you. They all want you to fail. Now, the interesting thing to note is I know people in Canada and you know what they say? It's glorious. Everybody's so nice and helpful and every, everything is just so conducive to me becoming successful and happy and blessed. Now, what's the difference? Of course, obviously, any country, there's bad parts and good parts. So who knows where this one individual lived? Maybe they live in a bad area. But here's the thing. Your mentality affects your world. If you're expecting garbage and everything's bad and no one supports you and everything's awful, what do you think you're going to get? You're not going to get support and blessing and goodness and, and happiness and peace you're going to get everything you're expecting out of life. Now, here's one of the things. People want to argue, well, is it metaphysical or is it is it just a natural where you, if you believe positively, then you're going to be more prone to noticing the positive things? It's probably some combination of both because you definitely do have your reticular activating system go into effect and notice things when you're looking for opportunities and looking for good things. But you also will notice a dramatic marked improvement on your situation as well. Not just noticing good things more often than you used to, but actually experiencing more good things than you did before. This is like that old parable I've told many times where a man's traveling and he comes up to the city gates and there's wise men sitting there and he talks to one of the wise men and says, what are the people in this city like? And the wise man says, well, what are the people in the city you came from like? He goes, oh, well, they're awful and they lie and they cheat and everybody's out to get you. And it's, it's just terrible there. And the wise man says, well, they're the same way here. And another man comes up at the same time and talks to the same wise man in front of this original traveler and says, well, what are the people like here? And he goes, well, what are they like where you came from? Oh, they're great. Everybody's so compatible and nice and friendly and they're always trying to help you and everybody's so good there and the wise man says well they're the same way here see the whole intent is that you are creating this if you're expecting the worst from people you're going to bring out the worst in people if you're expecting everything to go bad it's going to go bad and whether you want to say well that's your reticular activating system or that's metaphysical or that's god pushing you or it doesn't even matter what the exact cause of it is that's the reality. That's what happens. That's what you experience in life. You have to be the one to decide to change. You have to be the one to choose to go positive. And not just positive to, to be delusional, where you look at things that are bad and say they're positive, or you try to start claiming well, there's nothing good or bad. It's all depending on what you interpret it as. Well, there's some truth to that because there's certain situations that whether it's good or bad is completely dependent determined upon how you view it but there are also situations that are obviously bad but you can look for good things in the situation opportunities available in the situation not to claim the situation itself is good but that there's good available to you from that situation and not that you needed the situation to get to the good but for whatever reason there is the situation but there's good things you can find within it to bring you to the result that you want. My friend, you have to change your vibration, that frequency that, that you're putting out to the world, that you're expecting to come back to you from the world as well. God has blessed you with great favor. Don't go out there cursing yourself each and every day. Out of the same mouth proceeds blessing and cursing. Let out of your mouth only proceed blessing. Stop cursing yourself. Stop cursing your situations. Stop cursing your friends and family and your country and your neighbors and everyone around you. Start blessing your life, your family, your friends, your country, your neighbors, everyone around you. Bless everything 
and you'll start noticing that as you changed your vibration, you are starting to be in tune with God and his love, and you're flowing in that love, that you will see a dramatically different, more positive, blessed life. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.